Hi guys, it's Andre from Snoopy Industries and today I'm going to show you what you need to do right after installing your uh, latest WordPress theme. Uh, basically, usually when we uh, release a new theme, we also include a, a couple of plugins, if not more. Uh, the reason is simple. There are a lot of great plugins out there, so uh, it's way better for us to uh, make our our themes compatible with those plugins instead of trying to, to create other plugins which would basically do the same. Okay, so uh, at the moment I've just installed uh, the Scratch theme on my, uh, on my domain and if you, if you see right, right up here uh, we've got a message uh, that requires us to install three plugins, Avatar Manager, uh, contact form 7 and the Invato WordPress Toolkit. Um, I'm going to explain each of them for you a little bit uh, and afterwards I'm going to show you how to install one of them because uh, it goes the same with everything so uh, we, there's no reason to waste too much time. So basically the Invato WordPress Toolkit is a plugin that helps you keep track of uh, latest releases for our themes. So it's great to have that one installed and set up uh, on your account. Uh, we'll go back to that one a bit later on, on a special video. But um, basically you really need to, to install and update this with um, the, the API from Envato. Next we have the Avatar Manager which basically allows you as um, as an admin to upload the, um, an avatar. Uh, that's not a function of WordPress by default, so we need uh, this plugin to, to help us. Uh, the Contact Form 7 plugin is one of the most renowned plugins uh, with regards to to contact forms, basically uh, we we used to have a lot of requests from you guys uh, for an extra field in the contact form. For example, we had name, URL, um, business, and the message box, and you guys wanted a couple more fields, uh, phone number, or wanted to uh, to 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 pull one of the uh, current fields out and that's really a lot of customization so this is the much better the, be the much better way to go also we'll, we'll be going back to the contact form 7 plugin in a future video uh, when, when I will explain everything to you uh, so basically what you need to do in order to install them is hit begin install plugins and choose one of them, hit install, wait for a few seconds. The plugin is now installed successfully. You hit return to plugin re to require plugins installer, and on the same one, you go and hit activate. After you've done this, the, the plugin is activated. If we refresh the page, uh, you guys will be able to see the plugin right here and start using it accordingly. Uh, thanks for your, for your time guys, bye.